Hey YouTube fans, just want to take a minute to let you know that I released Access Developer 22, the latest in my developer series of Access classes. This class continues my series on record sets, which are very powerful tools in Access. We'll start off learning about the tag property, then we'll learn how to apply payments. Let's say you got a bunch of open orders for a customer in your database. The customer pays with a single check for like $1,000, and you want to apply it to his orders right, starting with the oldest ones, well, we'll use a record set to loop through the orders, apply whatever money is due for each order, and then we'll show you what's left at the end. Then we'll do a record set with record counting, if you want to have like sequential numbers for your orders, maybe in a subform, one, two, three, four. We'll talk about how to handle it if an item is deleted, when you add new items, all kinds of cool stuff, more great record set examples. The rest of this video is the introduction to the course. Check it out, see what's covered in detail, and if you have any questions, of course, post them down below. I'll put a link to the class down in the description below the video. Thanks. Welcome to Microsoft Access Developer Level 22, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to focus more on record sets, as we've been doing in our developer series. We're going to look at the tag property. We're going to see how to apply payments to orders. If you get a lump sum payment, you want to apply it to multiple orders, starting with the oldest. And we'll take a look at counting records, so you can have a numeric count of the records in your subforms, one, two, three, four, and so on. All of these will make good use of record sets. I will be using Microsoft 365, but these lessons will work for any version of Access from 2007 up to 2019, the current one. This class follows Access Developer 21. I strongly recommend you've taken that class first. As well as all the developer classes from 16 on, those cover record sets. If you've got questions, just scroll down to the bottom of the page and post them there. Also, take a second and check through all the other questions that might have been posted because your question might have already been answered. If you want to get notifications when new questions and answers are posted, click on the subscribe link. If you've got questions unrelated to this class, feel free to post them in the Access Forum. Now let's take a quick look at what's covered in each lesson. In Lesson 1, we're going to learn how to use a progress bar to display how much of a single record in a form is completed. Then we'll put all the records together in a continuous form and show how completed each one of those records is, and we'll jazz it up with some conditional formatting. In Lesson 2, we're going to learn how to apply payments to orders. We're going to make an order table. We have an amount due, an amount that's been paid, and whether that order is paid or not. Okay, so we've got a balance on each order. Now, user places three orders worth $100 each, so he owes you $300. He comes in and then makes a $250 payment. Not quite paying all of them, all right? So we have to use a record set, loop through the orders from the oldest to the newest, apply the amount that's due to the first one, the amount that's due to the second one, and if there's any left over, the amount that's due to the third one. All right, we're going to cover that in Lesson 2. In Lesson 3, we're going to set up a record counter. So whether you've got products or contacts or customers or whatever, we can have Access automatically number the rows for us. One, two, three, four. If we delete a record, it'll renumber it. If we add a new one, it'll renumber it. We'll learn about auto-ordering with the decount property, decount function and it will allow manual reordering of the numbers as well. So you can go in there and type it in and change it. We'll put little buttons on the bottom to go up and down and to renumber them that way. In Lesson 4, we're going to take the same form that we used in Lesson 3 to do the automatic numbering and replace the programming underneath it to use record sets instead of using the go to record command. We'll also see an issue that comes up when deleting multiple records and how to deal with it with the cell height property. 